Hello everyone. A math YouTuber by the name of Michael Penn uh, recently made a video where he discussed how to find out which value is bigger, 50 to the power of 99 or 99 factorial. And he did it in a lot of ways. He did it through a proof, he did it through uh, other ways, but he didn't do it through this way. And that's the way that I'm going to show right now. If you want to see the original video, I'll have a link in the description. But the way that we can do it right now is by using something called the AMGM inequality. And what that is, is if you have a, sequ uh, a sequence, a -N, a2, A1, A2, A3, all the way to AN, then the arithmetic mean of that sequence is greater than or equal to the geometric mean. The arithmetic mean is just the usual mean. You add them all up and then divide by the number of terms you have. And the geometric mean is when you multiply all of the terms and then you take the nth root, depending on the n is how many terms there are. And so this uh, inequality is saying that the arithmetic is always greater than or equal to the geometric. So how do we use this over here? Well, first, let's do this. Let's take the 99th root of both values. After that, you get 50 to the power of 99 times 1 over 99, so just 50. And for 99 factorial, you just get 99 factorial to the power of 1 divided by 99, like that. Now we notice something. Look at this right here, 99 factorial. What does that mean? Well, it means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 all the way to times 97 times 98 times 99. Those, that product looks very similar to this product right here. So maybe we can say that the terms 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way to 99 can be used as a sequence and we can use the uh, AMGM inequality to further that sequence. So let's try that. Let's say 1 is a1, 2 is a2, all the way to 9, 99 is a of 99. So let's try that. We get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to 99 divided by the number of terms, which in this case is 99. There are 99 terms in this sequence. That is greater than or equal to the 99th root of 1 times 2 times 3 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 all the way to times 98 times 99, that's just 99 factorial, right? Because the product, we said that the product is the same thing as the factorial right here. So when we uh, plug it in, we just get 99 factorial to the pow uh, power of 1 over 99. So now look at this. This term and this term are the exact same thing. So we can leave the right-hand side as is. Let's look. focus on the left-hand side. We got this sum of natural numbers up to 99, we can use that well-known formula that the sum of 1 through n, all the natural numbers from 1 to n, is 99 times 99 plus 1 divided by 2. So you have 99 times 99 plus 1, 100, divided by 2, and all of that is still divided by 99, like that. And again, that is greater than or equal to the 99th root of 99 factorial. So we can cancel some stuff out on the left-hand side, the 99 and the 99 cancel. 100 divided by 2 is 50, and that is greater than or equal to the 99th root of 99 factorial. And finally, take the power of 99 to the uh, on both sides. So 50 to the power of 99, and then this to the power of 99. This 99th root will cancel. Well, will get canceled with the 99th power, and you get 99 factorial on this side, and then you get 50 to the power of 99 on that side. And we are almost done. Using the AMG inequality, we have almost proved that 50 to the power of 99 is greater, is the greater of the two terms. However, keep in mind, this is saying that it's greater than or equal to 99 factorial. So there is a possibility that these two are the exact same in value, right? Well, we can prove uh, using uh, decomposition, prime decomposition, that this is not true. Now, why is that? Well, what's the prime uh, factorization of 50? Well, let's see, 50 is 5 times 10, 10 is 2 times 5, so 50 is equal to 2 squared times, oh, sorry, not 2 squared times 5, uh, uh, 50, uh, it's 2 times 5 squared, my bad, 2 times 5 squared. And that is the prime decomp uh, decomposition. So when we multiply, uh, and then when we take the power to 99, this left-hand side will have powers of 2s and 5s. However, 99 factorial has powers of 2s, 
threes, fives, sevens, elevens, thirteens, pretty much every uh, prime up to 99 in some value. At least one of every prime up to 99 will be on the right hand side. So when you got a bunch of primes on the right hand side, two, three, five, seven, eleven, on and on and on, but you only have two and five on this side, and that means that these are never going to equal each other. Because in order for these two to be equal, these have to have the same number of primes. But the left-hand side doesn't even have 3 or 7 or 11 or any of the, those other primes. It just has 2 and 5. Which is why we can predict that these terms are not equal. So if they're not equal, then that means that, they, that 50 to the power of 99 has to be greater than 99 factorial. Okay, great. That's a good place to stop.